All right, what is going on, guys? Today, as you saw by the title, we're talking about weed. Does weed help when you are fighting? Does it help as an athlete in general? And why do fighters smoke so much? Um, we're going to get into all of that today. But before we do get into this video, I obviously have to mention that weed is not legal in a lot of states and countries. So that being said, I do not condone the use of any illegal substances. All right, got that? I haven't made a video in a while, so it's hard to look at the lens. So right now, I'm looking off this way every once in a while, so please ignore that. So first things first, let's talk about what weed actually is, right? So weed has THC and CBD. Forget about the CBD right now, we're going to be talking about the THC, right? So in your body, you have something already called the endocannabinoid receptors, right? And these endocannabinoid receptors, something that connects to them, right? So that could either be THC or that could be uh, endocannabinoids themselves, right? So they both connect to these endocannabinoid receptors. So the endocannabinoids or the THC bind with the cannabinoid receptors, and that's what creates all those weird, quote unquote, high feelings, right? Some athletes believe that smoking that J right before they go for a run or pump some iron, that it actually helps lower their anxiety levels and helps them just in the gym or whatever they're doing right now there's a lot of fighters that do smoke weed Nate Diaz being a really obvious one he's been caught he's been charged for it you know I had cataracts when I walked in the door I think I'm cured right now there's Joe Rogan, he's a really big advocate. He actually smoked a blunt with uh, Elon Musk. That was great. If you guys haven't seen that, there's a short clip. Now, weed makes you more in tune with yourself, right? And Joe Rogan mentioned this before, but when you're in a fight, or specifically like when you're rolling, right? Like for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you're just like in this weird state. Obviously, in a fight, too, it's not like it just feels different. That mental state feels completely different than like any other aspect of life, right? I don't know if that makes any sense unless you're a fighter yourself, but like being in a fight or like rolling uh, for jiu-jitsu just feels like a completely different mindset, like a completely different state of mind than when you're actually like, uh, when you're just doing different daily stuff, like when you're just living life, it's just a different mindset, right? So that different mindset combined with like the focus of uh, smoking weed and the, the ego death, not really ego death, but it's like a ego medicine, right? Like you all must men mention this one it was like lowering your it's like an ego medicine it like lowers your your ego right a lowered ego from the weed and the uh and just the different state of mind in general from the jiu-jitsu just go great together and just makes you more loose and you're just kind of going with a flow right and i mean I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying I condone it. I'm just saying, bro, like a lot of jujitsu guys condone it. There's a Brazilian jujitsu place actually in LA. It's called High Rollers and they're high as balls the whole time. They're doing Brazilian jujitsu. They got competitions. They all get high before and then they, and they go, they roll and they compete. And then whoever wins gets like a pound of weed or something like that, like something crazy. This is a completely separate reason. At first I was talking about why fighters smoke like while they're actually training, right? But now we're talking about after. So after it's kind of obvious, right? So they're done with the training. People get punched in the face a lot when they're fighting. If you didn't already know, like common sense, you get punched in the face and it hurts. So when you smoke, a lot of times it can help a little bit with that pain. So that's why some people smoke after, right? That's why some people smoke a lot in general. So both of these combined, that's why, guys, if you were wondering. So make of it as you will. You just don't want to just go and do something you don't know what you're doing, right? You want to be careful, you want to be smart, and you want to be safe. Some people go by it, some people don't go by it. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, I do not condone the use of any illegal substances whatsoever. With that being said, make sure you guys drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you have not already. Peace.